think is the biggest misconception about your job as a costume designer that most people have? They, they look at the screen and they think, oh, aren't those pretty clothes? And I think that's it. Is that the I misconception? I think you just said it. Yeah. You know, well, aren't so, those pretty clothes? But um, And then, yeah, so how would you explain it to I people? think um, my theory is that I think everybody gets dressed in the morning. So the application of what we do is that somehow, you know, it's channeled through that thinking. But not everybody designs a room or builds a house. So therefore, production design is on a different. Presumably in the 40s, it was, you know, it was more revered as a profession. Mm. And... Um, you know, everything was constructed, and um, uh, I don't know where the shift came. Where did the shift come? Did the shift come in the, like, the 60s or well, the 70s or something? I believe that it was a different type of realism. It wasn't that, it, it was no longer that it stayed on the screen. It was that it came out of the screen, and you could be part of it. You could wear it, you could buy it, and with that, the accessibility also Without studio workrooms, you would find things. You wouldn't make everything. You were trained to do the sketch, but then you would find the great tie, as Mark and I talk about, with the little bit of Kleenex left on it. And you think, this has a past. The camera's going to dance. <laughs> if the actor will wear it. And the director <laughs> will allow you. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll say that I'm a costume designer, and people will say, oh, that must be so much fun. <laughs> and, and, it, and it is fun, but I, I think what Joanna said, it, it's, it's really planning and d thoughts about so many things and, and interacting with actors and directors and, and now more and more ac accountants and producers. I think it's a lot of misconceptions. You know, a lot of people think it's a pretty job, as you know, as we were saying, and, and I think it's one of the toughest jobs. Um, you have to pay attention to so many things. First thing, the script. Then you have to to listen what the director is saying. Then the actor. Then you know you have to start looking for your own inspiration, or you do that for at the very beginning. But then you have to start looking for things that you, sometimes you never find. You start like looking for a fabric that doesn't exist, but it is in your mind, and, and it's like next show. yeah, exactly, right. and it's banging you and banging you and banging you. It has to be this fabric. That's it has to be this true. fabric. It has to be this fabric, and then one day you suddenly find something, and it might not be the fabric you wanted to find, but you get the illusion that it is the fabric, and then <laughs> <laughs> and then you start making the whole the whole dress or the whole suit, and it doesn't behave as you thought. I mean, it's so hard. I mean, I'm a big panicker. I'm always panicking. And I suppose it's the same here. You know, I go to bed and I think, oh my God, oh my God, why did I say that fabric? Why did I say that fabric? Because you always have people like saying behind you, you have to choose now, you have to choose now, you haven't got time and things like that.